Welcome, everyone. Today, we embark on an enlightening journey to uncover the habits of those remarkable individuals who, even beyond the age of 70, remain not only free of cancer and dementia but also continue to embody the essence of youthfulness. Through scientific evidence and research, we will explore the lifestyles and practices that contribute to such enviable health and vitality. Let's dive into the top 5 habits that have been consistently observed in these extraordinary individuals. Starting at number 5, we find the practice of regular physical activity. In the tapestry of life, staying active is not just a thread. It's a lifeline that sustains us, enriches us, and propels us forward. Scientific evidence has consistently illuminated the profound benefits of regular exercise, not just as a tool for physical fitness but as a powerful ally in our fight against some of the most formidable foes, cancer and cognitive decline. Let's delve into the science. Research has shown that regular physical activity can significantly reduce the risk of several types of cancer. According to a study published in the Journal of Clinical Oncology, physical activity has a protective effect against the development of cancer, particularly cancers of the breast, colon, and lung. The mechanisms are multifaceted, involving the reduction of inflammation, improvement in immune system function, and the regulation of hormones that can contribute to cancer growth. But the benefits of regular exercise extend beyond cancer prevention. It's also a critical factor in maintaining cognitive function and reducing the risk of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. Studies in the Journal of Alzheimer's Disease have demonstrated that regular physical activity can improve brain health by enhancing blood flow, increasing the volume of brain regions involved in memory and cognitive function, and promoting the growth of new brain cells. Exercise acts as a buffer, protecting the brain from the degenerative effects of aging and disease. The narrative of exercise as a tool for disease prevention and cognitive preservation is compelling, but it's more than just about avoiding illness. It's about quality of life, about maintaining the vitality, independence, and joy that make life worth living. Exercise is a celebration of what our bodies can do, a testament to our resilience, and a commitment to our longevity. In our 40s, 50s, 60s, and beyond, regular physical activity becomes not just something we do, but a reflection of how we choose to live our lives. It's about setting the stage for a future where we're not just alive, but thriving, engaging with the world with energy and enthusiasm. Incorporating physical activity into our daily routine doesn't require monumental changes. It's about finding joy in movement, whether that's through walking, cycling, swimming, or dancing. It's about making a commitment to ourselves to stay active, to challenge our bodies and our minds, and to embrace the fullness of life. As we stand on the precipice of the future, looking toward the horizon of what's possible, let's commit to integrating regular physical activity into our lives. Let's do it for our health, for our minds, for the sheer joy of living. Because in the end, staying active is not just about adding years to our life, it's about adding life to our years. Moving on to the fourth habit, we uncover the importance of a plant-based diet. I want to talk about the power of a plant-based diet, a choice that isn't just about personal health but about embracing a lifestyle that cultivates vitality, wards off disease, and harmonizes with the world around us. Diving into the scientific underpinnings, we find that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and legumes is not merely a footnote in the narrative of health, it's a central chapter. This isn't about dietary trends or fleeting fads, it's grounded in decades of research that highlight the protective effects of plant-based diets against cancer, dementia, and a host of other chronic conditions. Let's explore the evidence. Studies have consistently shown that diets high in plant-based foods are associated with a lower risk of certain cancers. For example, the fiber in whole grains, fruits, and vegetables has been linked to a reduced risk of colorectal cancer, as fiber helps to keep the digestive system clean and healthy, removing carcinogens from the gut. Similarly, the antioxidants found in brightly colored fruits and vegetables serve as a defense mechanism against cellular damage, the precursor to cancer. But the benefits of a plant-based diet extend beyond cancer prevention. When it comes to maintaining cognitive function and deterring the onset of dementia, including Alzheimer's disease, 
the nutrients found in plant foods play a critical role. The vitamins, minerals, and phytochemicals in these foods support brain health by reducing inflammation, combating oxidative stress, and fostering the health of brain cells. Research published in journals such as the Journal of the Alzheimer's Association underscores the positive impact of plant-based diets on cognitive health, demonstrating a clear link between dietary patterns and brain resilience. Adopting a plant-based diet is not merely a preventative measure, it's a proactive strategy for enhancing quality of life. It's about making choices that nurture our bodies, fuel our minds, and respect the environment. This lifestyle is accessible to everyone, regardless of age, and offers a path to sustained health and vitality. Integrating plant-based foods into our daily diet is an adventure, an opportunity to explore a rich array of flavors, textures, and nutrients. It's about celebrating the diversity of the plant kingdom, from the humble bean to the exotic fruit, and discovering the joy of meals that are not only nutritious but also delicious and satisfying. As we look to the future, let's consider the choices we make at the dining table as an extension of our values and our vision for a healthier, more vibrant life. Let's embrace a plant-based diet not just as a series of food selections but as a commitment to a lifestyle that prioritizes wellness, sustainability, and the sheer joy of nourishing ourselves with the best that nature has to offer. At number 3, we find the habit of lifelong learning and mental stimulation. We delve into the profound impact that continuous intellectual engagement has on preserving our cognitive health and warding off diseases like dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. The essence of lifelong learning is not confined to the accumulation of knowledge, it's about keeping the brain active, challenged, and engaged. The analogy I often draw parallels the well-known adage for physical fitness. Use it or lose it. Just as muscles atrophy without exercise, cognitive functions can decline if not regularly stimulated and challenged. Scientific evidence supporting the benefits of lifelong learning on cognitive health is both compelling and robust. Studies have shown that engaging in intellectually stimulating activities, be it learning a new language, playing a musical instrument, or even engaging in regular social interactions that challenge the mind, can significantly reduce the risk of cognitive decline and dementia. For instance, research published in the Journal of the American Geriatric Society highlights that individuals who regularly engage in cognitive activities maintain higher cognitive function into later life. The mechanism behind this protective effect is multifaceted. Engaging in challenging mental activities stimulates the brain, fostering the growth of new neural connections. This process, known as neuroplasticity, enhances the brain's resilience, enabling it to compensate for age-related changes and potential neuropathological damage. Essentially, by continuously learning and stimulating our minds, we build a cognitive reserve, a buffer that allows the brain to adapt and function better for longer. But lifelong learning extends beyond just the biological benefits. It imbues life with a sense of purpose and fulfillment, elements that are intrinsically linked to mental well-being. The pursuit of knowledge, the joy of discovery, and the satisfaction of mastering new skills are not just intellectually rewarding. They enrich our lives, providing a source of happiness, self-esteem, and social connection. Incorporating lifelong learning into our daily routine need not be a daunting task. It can be as simple as reading regularly, pursuing hobbies, attending workshops or lectures, or even engaging in stimulating conversations. The key is to embrace curiosity and open-mindedness, to seek out new experiences and challenges that spark the joy of learning. As we look to the future, let us recognize lifelong learning not as a luxury but as a necessity for maintaining cognitive health and enriching our lives. It's a testament to the human capacity for growth, adaptation, and resilience. A beacon guiding us toward a future where age does not define our ability to learn, grow, and thrive. The second crucial habit is the maintenance of strong social connections. The significance of social connections extends far beyond mere companionship. Scientific research has unveiled the remarkable influence that our social ties have on our physical and mental well-being. Studies published in notable journals such as PLOS Medicine, 
have demonstrated that individuals with strong social relationships have a significantly lower risk of premature mortality compared to those with weak or insufficient social ties. These findings are not trivial. They suggest that the quality and quantity of our social interactions can be as critical to our health as well-established risk factors such as smoking, obesity, and physical inactivity. But how do strong social connections contribute to such pronounced health benefits? The answer lies in the multifaceted role that relationships play in our lives. Social support provides a buffer against stress, reducing the harmful effects of chronic stress on the body, which in turn decreases the risk of conditions like heart disease and high blood pressure. Furthermore, meaningful interactions with friends and loved ones can promote positive health behaviors, encouraging us to maintain healthier lifestyles. Moreover, the impact of social connections extends to our mental and cognitive health. Engaging in regular social activities and nurturing close relationships can significantly reduce the risk of mental health issues such as depression and anxiety. Additionally, a robust social network has been associated with a lower risk of cognitive decline and dementia, including Alzheimer's disease. These interactions stimulate our brains, fostering cognitive resilience that can protect against the neurodegenerative processes associated with aging. Incorporating strong social connections into our lives is about prioritizing relationships, making time for family and friends, and engaging in community activities. It's about valuing quality over quantity, nurturing deep and meaningful connections that provide support, joy, and a sense of belonging. This may involve joining clubs or groups that align with our interests, volunteering, or simply making a conscious effort to regularly connect with loved ones. As we stand at the crossroads of an increasingly digitalized world, the importance of fostering genuine, face-to-face -face connections has never been more critical. Let us not underestimate the power of a shared laugh, a heartfelt conversation, or the simple presence of someone who cares. These are the moments that weave the fabric of our social well-being, creating a safety net that catches us when we fall and elevates us to greater heights of health and happiness. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, let's make a deliberate choice to cultivate strong social connections. Let's embrace the communal aspect of human nature, recognizing that our relationships are not just a source of happiness but a cornerstone of our health and longevity. Thank you for joining me on this exploration. Here's to building and sustaining the bonds that nourish our souls and fortify our health. And finally, the number one habit observed in individuals who remain cancer and dementia free and still young at heart over 70 is effective stress management. In this era of constant connectivity and relentless demands, mastering the art of stress management is not merely beneficial. It's essential for maintaining mental clarity, physical health, and emotional balance, especially as we navigate the intricate dance of our later years. The science behind stress and its impact on our well-being is both profound and compelling. Chronic stress, a pervasive issue in today's society, has been linked to a multitude of health problems, including but not limited to cardiovascular disease, diabetes, depression, and, indeed, both cancer and cognitive decline. The mechanisms are multifarious, involving a cascade of hormonal and physiological responses that, over time, wear down the body's defenses, leaving us susceptible to disease and dysfunction. But here lies the crux of our discourse. Effective stress management can dramatically alter this trajectory, transforming our experience of daily life and significantly mitigating the risk of chronic illnesses. The strategies for managing stress are as varied as the individuals practicing them, encompassing a broad spectrum of techniques from mindfulness meditation, deep breathing exercises, and yoga, to engaging in hobbies, spending time in nature, and fostering strong social bonds. Mindfulness meditation, for instance, has been shown to reduce the levels of the stress hormone cortisol, thereby alleviating the physiological effects of stress. Practices such as yoga and tai chi not only provide physical relief through the release of tension in the body but also promote mental calmness, enhancing our ability to navigate life's challenges with equanimity. Moreover, the role of hobbies and leisure activities in stress reduction cannot be overstated. These pursuits offer a respite from the hustle and bustle of daily life, a sanctuary where the mind can wander, creativity can flourish, and the soul can find joy. 
whether it's gardening, painting, playing music, or any other activity that resonates with one's passions, these endeavors provide a powerful antidote to stress, enriching our lives with purpose and pleasure. And let us not forget the healing power of nature. Immersing ourselves in the natural world has a remarkable capacity to soothe the mind, uplift the spirit, and restore a sense of inner peace. The simple act of walking through a forest, sitting by a stream, or gazing at the stars can elicit a profound sense of relaxation and well-being, counteracting the effects of stress and rekindling our connection with the earth. In essence, effective stress management is about cultivating a lifestyle that acknowledges the multifaceted nature of stress and addresses it through a holistic approach. It's about recognizing the signs of stress in our bodies and minds and responding with practices that restore balance and harmony. Let us embrace stress management not as a task on our to-do list but as a way of life, a fundamental aspect of our daily routine that nourishes our being and shields us from the ravages of chronic stress. By mastering the art of stress management, we unlock the door to a life marked by vitality, resilience, and profound well-being. In conclusion, the secret to maintaining youthfulness and health well into the later years of life is not a single magic bullet but a constellation of habits and lifestyle choices. Regular physical activity, a plant-based diet, lifelong learning, strong social connections, and effective stress management are the pillars upon which this remarkable state of well-being rests. By integrating these practices into our lives, we not only increase our chances of remaining free from cancer and dementia but also enhance our overall quality of life, proving that true vitality knows no age limit. Thank you for joining me today in this exploration of the habits that underpin exceptional health and longevity. Let's take inspiration from those who've paved the way and embrace these practices with enthusiasm and dedication. Here's to a life of health, happiness, and youthfulness, at any age.